Most people in the world are quite familiar with what is and isn't politically correct. We also know that in the privacy of our home, own homes or around the people that know us best, we might utter a few improper things to test what we think, to, to utter our opinions, to validate or invalidate what we're thinking. But there are people that are pretty presumptuous about what they know about the Lord, and their presumptions say, I have the rights to you, but you have no rights to me. I have the right to tell you how to live your life, but you have no right to tell me what you think of my life. I have the right to do what I feel like to you, but you have no right to touch me. It's true. And in life we have the moment of time to say, well, gosh, God did not die and make you God. But you think you are because you keep abusing people and you think you're getting away with it, but maybe you're not. And maybe the police are just waiting for you to be stupid enough to do your shit long enough that they have enough proof that they can now say, okay, we got enough proof that this is intentional. We've got enough proof that this is oppositional. And we've got enough proof that this motherfucker thinks he's so much of a god in people's life with his technological skills that we don't have to do anything else but put him in jail. You see, people that want to test their technology skills and use their schooling often do. But then they often turn it into a predator's game in which they prey upon you. And when I say pray upon you, I mean really pray upon you. I don't mean pray for you. You see, pastors are supposed to pray for people. But there are people who claim to be Christian or Muslim or Wiccan who prey upon people. They literally prey upon them with their lies. They prey upon them with their stories. They prey upon them with inappropriate personal talk about what's going on in their lives. And they do it in their professional settings on behalf of their organizations or companies. And that is something that companies have to be careful of. When a person talks about the fact that her son has been shot in the face and is miraculously alive, well, that's a great story, but is it appropriate for her to share in the way that she means to for God's glory on the job on behalf of her company? And the answer is no. The company is not paying her to be an evangelist, and the company is not paying her to be inefficient in her job, because those personal stories cross the timeline of everyone. While some people will be enthralled, and some people will be appreciative, and some people will be compassionate, other people will be offended that they're lying and their time in a line of a store is being abused by the cashier doing it. So when we talk about people, we have to talk about who is for our corporation and who is not. People for our corporation recognize loyal consumers no matter what they look like, no matter how they're dressed, no matter what they do, and how they feel about you. You see, a truly indiscriminate person recognizes that God is available to everyone. But not everyone chooses to find themselves available to God.